Variation of Fermi energy level and carrier concentration with temperature and impurities in N type of semiconductors. So, when the temperature, if you see the energy structure, the band structure of an N type of semiconductor, we can see that at zero Kelvin, the Fermi energy level lies exactly in between the donor energy level and the conductional band. So, now when the temperature increases, some electrons from the conductional band will be shifted to the some electrons from the donor energy level will be shifted to the conductional band. So while shifting, what happens? A hole will be created in the conductional in the donor energy level. So due to this, what happens? The Fermi energy level is getting down to compensate the unfilled state, and it approaches a level called EI. This is the intrinsic Fermi energy level. This is the intrinsic Fermi energy level. So to obtain the expression for uh, carrier concentration in case of donor energy level, substituting equation 6 in equation 1. So on substituting, that is the density of electrons is equal to 2 into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power e plus ec plus ed by 2 plus kbt by 2 log nd divided by 2 into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 minus ec divided by kbt. This equation is written as n of e is equal to 2 into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 exponential of ec plus ed minus 2 ec divided by 2 kbt plus log nd divided by 2 into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2. This equation is further simplified as n of e is equal to 2 into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 exponential of ed minus ec by 2 kbt plus log nd divided by 2 power half into 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 whole power half. So this equation is further simplified as the density of electrons in the conductional band is given as 2d into nd whole power half. 2 pi m star e kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 e power ed minus ec divided by kbt. So in this equation ed minus ec is called as del e, is written as del e. This is called as ionization energy for the donors. That is the minimum energy required to shift the electrons from the donor energy level to the conductional band. This equation can be written as n of e is equal to 2 n d whole power half into 2 pi m star e k b c by h square whole power 3 by 4 into e power del e divided by 2 k b t by del e is called the ionization energy of donors, ionization energy of donors. So from this equation what you can understand is that is the density of electrons in the conductional band is proportional to the square root of the donor energy level, is proportional to the square root of the donor energy level and if the temperature increases the Fermi energy level comes below and it approaches the intrinsic region. Carrier concentration in P type semiconductors. So, if you see the energy structure or the band structure of an P type of semiconductor, you have an acceptor energy level and the Fermi energy level lies exactly between the valency band and the acceptor energy level. So, when the temperature increases, electrons from the valency band will move from the valency band to the acceptor energy level and automatically a hole is created inside the valency band. So, the density of holes in the valency band is n of h is equal to 2 into 2 pi m star h kbt by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power ev minus ef divided by kbt. Put this as equation number 1 and let n a that is the density of electrons in the acceptor energy level. Let n a be the number of acceptor energy level per centimeter cube. In general, the electron density in the acceptor energy level is written as N of Ea into De is equal to Z of Ea into De into F of Ea. 
So, the density of electrons n of E is equal to n A into f of E A. Put this as equation number 2. Here, f of E A is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus E power E A minus E F divided by K B T. Since E A minus E F is very very greater than K B T, E A minus E F divided by K B T is greater than 1. So, therefore, E power E A minus E F divided by K B T is very very greater than 1. Therefore, 1 plus E A minus E F divided by K B T is similar or equal to E, e power E A minus E F divided by K B T. Therefore, the equation F of E A is equal to 1 divided by E power E A minus E F divided by K B T. Put this as equation number 3. Now, substituting equation 3 in equation 2. Therefore, the density of electrons N of E is equal to N A divided by E. E power E A minus E F divided by K B T. So, now at equilibrium position or at the equilibrium condition, number of holes per unit volume in the valency band will be equal to number of electrons per unit volume in the acceptor, acceptor energy level. So, what happens when the temperature increases, electro, uh, electrons moves from the holes moves from the valency band to the conductional band. So, automatically what happens, a hole will be created in the valency band. So, therefore, at equilibrium condition, the number of holes per unit volume in the valency band is equal to the number of electrons per unit volume in the acceptor energy level. So, now equating equation 1 and 4, we get 2 into 2 pi m star h k b t by h square into e power e v minus e f divided by k b t is equal to n a divided by e power e a minus e f divided by k b t e power E V minus E F plus E A minus E F divided by K B T is equal to N A divided by 2 into 2 pi M star H K B T by H square whole power 3 by 2. So, in this case what happens? E F minus E F minus E F that is E V plus E A, E V plus E A minus E F minus E F that is minus 2 E F divided by K B T is equal to N A divided by 2 pi m star h k b t by h square whole power 3 by 2. Now, taking log on both the sides. So, now on taking log on both the sides, this e power will get cancelled and e v plus e a by k b t minus 2 e f is equal to log n a by 2 into 2 pi m star h k b t by h square whole power 3 by 2. So, this equation is again simplified as e v plus e a minus 2 e f is equal to KBT log N A into 2 into 2 pi M star H KBT by H square whole power 3 by 2. Therefore, 2 EF is equal to EV plus EA minus KBT log N A divided by 2 into 2 pi M star H KBT by H square whole power 3 by 2. Therefore, the Fermi energy level EF is equal to EV plus EA by 2 minus KBT by 2 log N A divided by 2 into 2 pi M star H KBT by H square whole power 3 by 2. So, put this as equation number 5. So, in this equation number 5, when the temperature T is equal to 0 or at 0 Kelvin, this equation is written as, if you put T is equal to 0, this term becomes 0 and again this term also becomes 0. Therefore, the Fermi energy level EF is equal to EV plus EA by so, put this as equation number 6. So, from this what we can understand is the Fermi energy level lies exactly in between the valency band and the acceptor energy level at 0 Kelvin.